In celebration of Black History Month, Mad Rhythms, Chicago's premier tap collective, is paying homage to Nina Simone. Joining us now with all the details is founder Brill Barrett and Jimalita Tillman from the Harold Washington Cultural Center. Good morning and welcome. Thank Good, you. Morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us today. <laughs> Tell us about this uh, amazing show you're putting on. This is so exciting. I'm going to hit it off with the fact that we are wrapping up Black History Month with this amazing production. Mm -hmm. This is also in celebration of Civil Fest, which stands for the Chicago Independent Venue League. And then this is a way to raise funds for various performing arts arts venues for the mental health and wellness of artists. We're also doing things for equity and to be able to be more included with theaters and performing arts venues around the world. Mm -hmm. And so we're really proud of what Civil is doing with Civil Fest and we are the premier production with that with the Nina Simone Feeling Good. Mm -hmm. All right, so tell us how did you settle on Nina Simone yeah. as uh, the subject of your uh, performance? Well, I have been a fan of Nina's music for quite a while and the more I listen to it, you know there's this thing called a rabbit hole. Mm. And the more I listened to it, the more I got sucked down that rabbit hole. But Nina Simone stood for so much uh, artistic excellence, uh, uh, bravery in the, in the face of adversity, mm -hmm. the things that it took her to become an artist. Mm -hmm. You could write books and stories and movies, yeah. which they have. But then the things, once she became an artist, young, gifted, and black, I put a spell on you, feeling good. Like, mm -hmm. in one sitting, you get feeling good, but then you get Mississippi, mm -mm, in, in the same thing. So just the, the veracity of the stories, I was like, I, I, I want to do a show dedicated to this woman, because I think she was way ahead of her time. Oh, oh man. she was. Absolutely. Way ahead of her time. She was. Absolutely. A lot of the, the body, that you, body of work that you will be seeing, it's told through tap song, there's going to be a fireside chat that takes place so people can get a deeper dive yes. to really understand Nina Simone. Mm -hmm. yes. And the thing mm -hmm. that we're doing at the Harold Washington Cultural Center, we're launching our Nina Circle, which will then pour into creative artists. Everything from, mm -hmm. from the pen to performance. This will be a 100% free program to be a part of and we want to be able to keep Nina's uh, legacy alive through that. Her mm -hmm. activism, mm -hmm. her creativity, mm -hmm. her fashion sense, mm -hmm. her yes. global perspective. Mm -hmm. And doing this with tap with song mm -hmm. with written um, bodies of work we are definitely kicking and closing off black history month in an amazing <laughs> way with this Nina circle Absolutely. and I'm so proud of Brill our artistic director at the yeah. Harold Washington thank Cultural you, Center thank for you. it yeah, so that was, yeah that was my question how are you gonna take her song and turn it into something that the, could connect and people could learn from but I think Jim Alita just answered that question <laughs> right. we, would love, we would love to keep talking about this but we do want to have a performance mm -hmm. from the group uh, coming up, but we do want to tell you that the actual performance is Sunday, February 26th. It's at the Hero Washington Cultural Center. Mm -hmm. Are there still tickets available? They are tickets available. Great. The Nina Circle discount. Okay. Right. Oh, Nina Circle. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, you check it out, and we, like I said, we're going to have a performance in just a few minutes. Absolutely.